very welcome to this Triscoll at home concert. Um, my name is Fiona Kelly and I'm coming to you live from my music room in South East London. And I'm going to take you on a little journey of some solo flute music from um, Baroque to classical to jazz and even to a little bit of folk music. Um, I hope it's just going to give you a little bit of distraction for a while, for about 30 to 40 minutes. And I'm going to start us off with um, a Telemann fantasy. Um, Telemann wrote 12 solo fantasies for the flute. And I love playing these pieces. And I went through a few of them and then I decided on this one, which is number 12, it's the last one. And it's in G minor bit of a somber start but there's two movements and the second movement is a very lively presto.
has Telemann's Fantasy in G minor. Um, next up, I'm going to play <clears throat> a piece uh, written by Debussy called Syrinx, and this is one of the most popular pieces for solo flute. And when I was deciding what I was going to play, um, I live in this house with other musicians, and one of them said to me, oh, you're not going to play that piece that everybody plays by Debussy. And I hadn't totally decided what I was going to do yet. So then I thought about it and I was like, you know what, I am going to play that piece that everybody plays because it's a fantastic piece and I love playing it. Um, it was originally written for a play. This was just incidental music for the play and the flute player who played it obviously really enjoyed it and then made it a standalone, it became a standalone piece um, after that. So basically the story um, of Syrinx, uh, the, the god Pan was desperately chasing after her um, and Syrinx did not have the same desires and obviously unrequited love makes the best stories. So she changed herself into uh, a bunch of water reeds and Pan, hearing the sound blowing through these reeds, cut them up and fashioned his pipes. So that was Debussy's Syrinx. I find the strangest thing about this online experience is there is no applause and it's a little bit strange.
but I do have a sense that you're there and it is also very nice to um, be doing this in my practice where, where I'm often imagining an audience when I'm preparing for something. Um, so it's quite nice to actually have an audience, I hope, um, here in my room. So, um, oh, just to talk about the online experience a little bit more, um, what helped me actually in choosing some of these pieces was about two weeks ago, I did an online masterclass for the Royal Irish Academy in Dublin, um, organised by their brilliant head of women brass, Dave Collins. And I was a bit terrified about doing it, um, just the whole online thing and not being in the same room as somebody and getting to know them um, is a bit more difficult over the internet. But it, it was a brilliant experience. I really enjoyed it and I was totally inspired by the students and their determined determination to continue with their studies regardless of everything that's going on. And one of them played Syrinx and one of them played the J.S. Bach Partita. So I stole Syrinx and then I decided not to play the J.S. Bach but to play C.P.E. Bach. Um, solo sonatas so CPE was the son of JS and um, this sonata probably between this solo sonata and the syrinx um, syrinx was kind of the, the first major solo flute piece written since this CPE Bach and this was written for his employer at the time um, Frederick the Great and it's a really challenging piece and Frederick the Great, he was an amateur flute player, but he was definitely quite talented. There, there was a lot of music written for him and his teacher was Quantz, who was, you know, one of the granddaddies of the flute um, of Baroque times. And um, it is a, a question of whether this really was written for Frederick or was it written for Quantz because it really um, takes the instrument to its limits um, really stretches in the range and and dynamics and everything especially back then playing a baroque instrument would have been a wooden flute so making it even more challenging but um, so I have no excuses modern flute um, but it's uh, it's a wonderful piece and uh, it's, there's three movements. The first is a poco adagio. Uh, the second movement is an allegro, kind of a rustic allegro in two. And the third movement is also an allegro, but in three. So this is CPE Bach's solo sonata in A minor.
that was CPE Bach solo sonata in A minor. Um, to, oh, I have a story that goes with why I chose the next piece. Um, I think everybody has been finding, whether you're a creative person or not, but having a feeling that um, you need to achieve something with this time that we have at the moment. And um, I think I had my crisis um, just before lockdown and I was ordering a lot of music um, from one of the flute shops here and I came across the complete jazz flute method and I bought it <laughs> and I thought now is the time I'm going to I'm gonna do it I'm gonna really learn how to play jazz flute and this is gonna be my thing that I said that I did during all of this and I'd say I looked at the book for about three days and I haven't opened it since and that was weeks ago um, and I think I finally came to realize that there's sort of a pressure to to be creating and be achieving and and doing things with your time and actually I think it's just um, amazing if you can get out of bed and put on clothes that aren't your pajamas you know I think we should just keep the achievements pretty low um, so we just get through it all without um, pushing ourselves too far so I still wanted to play something um, jazz-esque today and I remembered this piece that I played a good few years ago and it's by Dave Heath. He's a flute player and a composer. And he wrote this piece called Coltrane, which is uh, uh, it's a homage to John Coltrane, the great jazz saxophonist. And it's a really wild. Um, it's not really like any of the other pieces I've just been playing. And it's based on chords and um, rhythm of jazz music but notated classically so I didn't have to go through my complete jazz method for the flute um, I could just play what he has written which is great um, but yeah it's sort of in two parts the first is loosely based on um, sort of the blues 12 bar blues progression and then the second part which you'll know it's the second part because I have a giant page turn um, second part is more based on Indian scales. So this is Dave Heath's Coltrane.
J. Pete's Coltrane. Um, if anybody was having a post-lunch slump, I hope that woke you up. <laughs> um, so although I said I was playing a recital of solo flute music, I might have slightly lied. Um, the, the one not fun thing is not being able to play with other people, of course. Um, and I am very lucky that about 10 minutes down the road from me, my sister lives and she plays the harp. But obviously we can't play together at the moment, but I really wanted to play with her. So this sort of um, lit the fire for us to try and organize something to do. Um, she is going to be playing via this lovely speaker and let me just hope that uh, technology doesn't fail me. That's the sign we need. Okay, I think it's gonna work. So this last piece is called The Lark in the Clear Air, um, a traditional Irish song. And this arrangement was done by our grandfather, T.C. Kelly. And when we play together, we often end up playing his arrangements. So Jean very kindly recorded her part and I have it on my speaker and um and I'm going to play on top on the top but um Jean has a a little girl and uh she I sent Jean a small recording of this just to make sure it was all working and her little girl said mama how did you fit inside that box with your harp um yeah so it's brilliant that we can do things like this um, i just love to say a massive, massive thank you to Triscoll for organising this and keeping their series going online. And I'm totally amazed by all of these organisations that are having a brilliant online presence. And it keeps me going as well. It keeps me really inspired and wanting to actually practise when I'm listening to all of these brilliant concerts and recitals online. So I hope that gave you um, a little bit of a break from all the goings on and looking forward to hopefully seeing you in the Triscoll soon in Cork and maybe not here in my tiny, tiny room. So hopefully here is the Lark in the Clear Air with my sister Jean Kelly playing the harp. Thank mm -hmm. you. 